In Scotland a man from Dysart, five named John MacDonald snapped what appears to be an alien vessel flying in the sky. Some think this is nothing more than a passing drone, however flying one in the dark could prove to be rather tricky. He claims that this passing UFO had several rows of lights shown in the photographs. It was late at night and he estimated the distance between him and this spaceship of sorts was around 100 yards away. He was driving home after visiting his friend when this happened. John said, my jeep is quite noisy, but this sounded like a thousand hoovers. When I phoned my friend, who's a shepherd, he said, don't worry about it, we get this up here quite a lot. The local civil aviation authority mentioned that this encounter wasn't any kind of a drone. After officials spoke with drone pilot Jonathan Hall, he declared as well that this was something different indeed. The strange spaceship encounter took place in Perthshire, Scotland which is located in the central part of the country. There has always been question whether or not aliens do in fact exist. Perhaps this is another sign that something else is out there. It is rather foolish to think we are alone in this universe as the only life forces around. History points out different footnotes including the infamous photo showing the Virgin Mary with a UFO object in the sky behind her. This disc-shaped object is a familiar depiction shown in numerous photos, paintings, and videos. Ancient cave paintings and Sanskrit scrolls have documented unusual ships flying high in the sky as well. The Bible also notes in the book of Ezekiel of an alien presence being recorded during that time. These consistencies of people reporting various sightings of UFOs has people thinking otherwise. Different cases of alien abductions seem to be consistent with individuals mentioning nausea, memory loss, watering blisters on their faces, swelling of the eyes etc. All of these unsolved sightings which continue to happen are consistent as time continues to tick by. Perhaps these photographs captured by John McDonald are nothing more than some elaborate hoax. Or, maybe they are something else entirely. Is this another failed government cover-up conspiracy? People want the truth. <laughs>